Hello Bahamas, we're praying for the school system. Let us pray. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, you said in the Bible, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, this is generally applied and meant for the way a parent should raise their children, but this can also be directly applied to the school system. Uh, that it is good for the education system to train children to become men and women, um, upstanding uh, citizens of society, to become the future leaders, movers, and shakers. That when they're given uh, the, the valuable tool of this knowledge and education, that the world will open to them and that opportunities will arise that they never uh, believed possible before. But Father, we pray that while the school and the government is attempting this, that the devil is abusing the scripture, that the devil is taking the scripture so gravely out of context. For the devil has decided to train up children in the way that he wants them to grow. And he knows also that when they grow, they will not depart once he has molded them, Father. Recently, well, Violence has been going on in schools for years, decades, but recently it has increasingly escalated. His war on the schools has gone up. The devil has students committing multiple stabbings at government high school, in it, outside of it, and Abaco, where there were 14 students who were arrested and they will be charged, um, some in just assault and some in... Um, uh, meaning harm, where they actually did a minor stabbing, and there are other reported stabbings and other reported violence. Uh, also, their teachers are being used by the devil to attack the schools in sexual manners, where teachers who have been placed to train the children are, instead of thinking of the children, thinking about themselves and their sexual appetites, where they are now going to bed with children when they themselves are grown adults. Also, one thing that is not currently reported, but everyone knows is going on, is a sexual uh, trade, uh, sexual activities, uh, virtually a juvenile prostitution being done in schools, where children trade their bodies, or girls trade their bodies for, uh, for uh, benefits and uh, money and items. Father, while this is not reported, we know this is still going on in the schools. Father, the schools are under attack. You stated that the children should not be forsaken, that uh, they hold a pl special place in your heart. You said that if anyone harmed a child, that it would be better for them to take a stone, this is a large stone, and, and chain it to their neck and throw themselves into the sea than to hurt one of your children because your uh, justice, your vengeance upon such an individual will be, will be will be very strong and harsh. Father, the devil is taunting you. The devil is using you and the, the Bible and Christians and just children as playthings. He is having his way in the school system. So Father, we are not praying that this prayer is a process prayer. We're not praying for the ministry to get their job together. We're not praying for the police to jump in. We're not praying for parents. We are praying for you, Father, to step in and, and to, to make your scriptures real for the devil, to let him know that you said it and you will act upon it, that the people will not be allowed to attack children, that children will not be allowed to commit crimes. Father, we're praying for you to step in a miraculous way and just shut down the evil that is occurring on these campuses. We are praying for the children who have been affected and grabbed by the devil to be sifted like we, that you pull them back and that you restore these children. We pray that anyone who has intentions of sending a child to school in the coming weeks to, to commit violence, to, to sell drugs, to, to prostitute a young girl, that everything will be shut down. If it is an adult, they will be brought to justice. If it is a child, their mind will be corrected. Everyone will be restored, Father. Let this be a swift and exacting justice. In the in the Bible, you have shown examples where 
when the devil has challenged you there have been times you've let things over a process of time be work out but there have been times when the devil confronted you because of the the dire situation you stepped in drastically and you shut the devil and his minions down father this is what we're praying for we're not praying for a in january in the next year in the future generations now we are praying for the children in the school in this term in 2009 in the december last couple of weeks that you restore these children that no more violence occurs that you shut down the devil completely that you don't let even a child get a knife on campus that a child who wants to say a curse word cannot even open his mouth to form the letters father we want you to bring the children back to being children and not being little men and women father bring innocence back to the children bring peace back to children bring bring an ability to learn children are filled with stubbornness hard hard-headedness a lot of things cause this the society is making children grow up too quickly but father we are praying for you to 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 step in for you to use your mighty hand on these children to to save these children we cannot pray strong enough we cannot pray hard enough father you know the desires we have for these children you know the intensity in which we are praying for these children father we are not praying for a small action we are praying for a strong miraculous action father bless the schools protect the schools and restore the schools bless these children we pray in jesus name amen